Hello, this is Carolina. Um, I want to ask you if you grow up in a family in where uh, everyone was talking about feelings. If they, their parents give you name for all the emotions and feelings that you was uh, experience. If they uh, teach you how to deal with all these emotions in a healthy way, because there are no good emotions or bad emotions, there are emotions. Uh, what we need to teach our children is how to express these emotions and these feelings in a very healthy way. It's not because you are mad or we are angry or we are frustrated that you can hit other people or you can uh, break things or you can, you know, do things that hurt yourself or hurt others. So first of all, I would like to know if in your family there was this kind of open conversations and then if you as a parent are doing that in your house. If you are naming uh, the body sensations that your children are having with the feelings that they or you think they are experiencing. And the second thing is uh, I want to ask you if you grow in a family in where at some points your parents ask you to forgive themselves about something that they did and they then reflect that was not very good. And if you didn't have this experience, probably you're going to have difficulties to uh, repair the relationships when something happened and there's some disconnection probably you are going to have uh, problems or not feel so confident uh, to ask your children to forgive you. Um, well, this is very common. So a parent coach or a family consultant can help you uh, to exercise the things and to explain uh, to you all the benefits that neuroscience has proved that these uh, kind of things like talking about feelings and um, ask for forgiveness and repair the relationships are uh, so so important so if you have something like that or if you are experience uh, some difficulties in these two aspects please let us know and we can help